Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's painting tutorial, I will show you how to paint loose abstract acrylic roses using a reference photo. Real-time extensive version of this painting with extra techniques and exercises is available on Skillshare. It is free for one month. If you've seen me before and haven't subscribed, make sure to do so right now and if you are new here welcome my name is Olivia and I make content and tutorials in acrylics and watercolors so if that interests you make sure to subscribe by the end of this okay so let's begin so I'm using pine green black and white to get this muted olive green shade for the background So here I'm adding a little bit of yellow to warm up the background tone a bit. So from pretty early on, it is a good idea to establish your light source and where you want it to come from. So in this case, I wanted my light source to come from the right side. So I'm leaving that side of my background lighter than the rest. This is just the initial stages of the background. I will play with it a lot more simultaneously as I work with my flowers too, but this is just a good start. Alright, so now that we're done with our background, kind of, right, we're gonna come back to it as we work along the piece. But let's get a rough sketch outline here so that we have an initial structure to work with. So wait for your painting to be halfway dry before um, doing the sketch phase. So looking at the reference pick here, I'm getting the round bowl ways uh, first. As far as the flowers, I'm only looking at the outline shape and placement as of now. So no details are required. This is just for placement and composition purposes. So um, as you can see in the reference, there are a bit more flowers than I am. I'm going to be drawing out today or painting today. Um, just because, I mean, just based on the size that you have working with, you can feel free to kind of make that adjustment. So I'm doing four flowers in the center here and then one small bud to the left. Perfect, so now let's move on to painting the base layers. So I'm just looking at um, the lightest shade of each flower and getting that shape covered. Using violet, uh, you can use pink if you have that, and lots of white, take a small flat brush and just paint some bold strokes to cover that area. Just a few strokes in different directions will do, but try and capture the shape of the rose as a whole. So looking at the reference pick and the direction of how the petals are facing should be your guide as to how you apply your brush strokes. I was just trying to balance out the colors here so I felt like I needed a little dash of yellow on, um, on the left side as well. Cleaning my brush off and going back to the background again, I wanted to accentuate the light source to um, the right more. So I'm going back in with green and white and adding that to the upper right corner. Sometimes I really like using my fingers to blend, especially uh, when it comes to blending edges to give it a softer look and feel. Um, and these paints actually work really well with fingers, so I like playing with it sometimes. 
I feel like there are always two kinds of painters out there. One that's always spotless and super careful while painting. Yeah, I'm definitely not like that. <laughs> I, I like getting my hands dirty. Next step I like to do is getting the center bud down, just an impression of it. So usually the buds in the center are much darker, so I'm adding some black to the violet uh, and using a small fillboard brush and I'm just twisting my brush around using its tip to get that in the middle. Just be aware of facing your bud in the direction you want your rose to be facing. Remember, this is a loose abstract painting, so getting impressions of the flowers is what we are aiming for. Simply a suggestion of shape and object. I also wanted to get a basic structure of the leaves here so that we can have the whole picture of the composition and colors. So using pine green and some white, um, I'm getting just some rough marks of the leaves and foliage to the background and around the roses. Alright, now let's build up on the roses a bit more, little by little. So I'm going in with pink again and adding flat, short brush strokes around the center to give it more fullness. I see a lighter shade of pink um, at the edges to this rose in the reference, so I'm just getting that across. Pulling out some red, I wanted to give more color to the pink roses as shown in the reference pic. So painting these flowers is really all about looking at the reference provided and breaking up the shape based on value and color. Squinting your eyes can help you see the larger shapes better if you're having trouble with that. So mash the color up in the best way you can based on lights and darks and follow the direction of the petal. Doing this in itself will give the impression of roses. It's all about capturing those lights and darks and just breaking up this big shape into smaller pieces based on color. Just getting in a bit more lighter pink now to um, surround the bud as you see in the reference pic. So it's just a matter of going back and forth um, with your lights and darks.
let's add more color and layers to the yellow roses now i'm getting a nice big strokes here for the petals i see in the reference pic I'm mixing in some white with yellow for sections I see at the edges of the roses that are a lighter color um, in yellow. All right, before we move any further, let's uh, paint the, the waist portion a bit. Um, so since it is glass, we do need to reflect the background. So pulling back those background colors again. Um, so using black, green, and white to start with for those darker gray bits that you see in the reference pic at the bottom. Simply blocking off the shapes down in the lower half of the waist. And pulling in more white now and filling in the lighter portions on the top. Use thick juicy paint to add interest and texture. Getting in some shadow as well to set the ways down. Um, the right side would be slightly darker than the left, so adding more darker values to the right here to give the painting more depth and dimension. Since I was already playing with some darks, I thought why not just add more darks to the painting overall. So looking at the reference pic, I see some darks in the center there as foliage. So I'm adding in some um, short strokes to that area. This also helps uh, separate the roses and makes them appear more forward. Similarly, looking at the ways, I'm also getting some uh, small thin dark lines for the stems um, in places.
here I'm just adding some different values to the green leaves, um, so darks and lights and placing them randomly around the roses. Mm -hmm. 